<laughs> if he had Yaki on the pants. <laughs> so. What's good? <laughs> so, uh, this is peer pressure. Basically, me and three of my best friends coming up with ideas and being so obsessed with them that we do everything we possibly can to make them happen. That's sick. For me and Eddie, this is our first time home since we left for college. And this is the first time we're all back together again since the summer. We live in a suburb of Dallas called Flower Mound. And as you would expect, growing up in a suburb in Texas, there is not very much support for creative interests at all. And that's definitely a big reason why we're so close. But we've never made anything seriously together, like as a group. But I guess it kind of took leaving and like being away from each other to realize that we're missing out on uh, this potential of like making things as a group and just like putting out things as a group. All of the footage you're about to watch was recorded within the month that we were home for winter break. Uh, where it starts is basically like me and Eddie and Sal are home, but uh, Robert's away on a family vacation. Um, yeah, I'll just let the rest play out. Hey bro, I call shotgun. <laughs> Sorry, bro. Um, All right, so good morning, buddy. yesterday, so I was like, we were driving to get um, <coughs> a table from his dad's storage, and so we're, he was like, "All right, so listen to this idea: we open up Poopy Gang to public, we get 1,000 followers, and then we drop an album, a collection, uh, a zine, a, zine documentary. a documentary, and a short film." And then I was like, yo, that'd be crazy. But then you I was like, even crazier. We could actually do it. <laughs> no, that's okay. Listen, listen. I was like, Poopy Gang can accomplish what Lame World set out to do. Like, like nothing, like so easily. That's and I was like, I was like, it really got me thinking. I was like, why stop at a zine? You know what I mean? We can make, we can make everything. That's fact. So now we just need a marketable, marketable name. It's not Poopy Gang. Yes, and that's then, true. And then go crazy. Can we make a name? Um, try hard. <laughs> try harder. <laughs> ball sack. Ball, ball, ball hard. Um, big baller brand. Sunburn. Perfume. Sunburn. Sunburn's tough. Sunburn? Sunburn. We need a business name. Yeah. Sunburn Incorporated. Yo, That's why I picked Lame like... Lame World dot com. But I kind of want it to be like... Something new. Yeah, me too. Let's make it a slogan. Or a, a phrase. Oh, for like... The title? What's in Texas? It's Howdy. Like company name. Are right, we trying to think of zine titles or like. Oh, I thought we were doing no, like. This would be like. Yeah, the title of the group. So the, wait, so the name of the group be the company name as well? It could be. Yeah, like the name. It could be like Playboy Cardi, Playboy Let's Cardi. Let's call it, uh, let's say Texas. Oh, that's. Like, it could be like self titled so, zine. Yes. Oh, I mean, yeah, that would be yeah, cool. Yeah, that probably work. Yeah, and then we can create the brand off of that zine. So like people will see that first, it should be and then it'll like uh, it'll become catch more on. than just that. Dog breath. Dog breath. That's I kind of cool. like dog breath. Dog breath. Entry chocolate. Entry Peer pressure. Peer pressure. That's kind of sick. That's kind of cool. Wait, that's kind of cool because we kind of like, like not. Like we motivate each other, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like we don't really like peer, peer pressure, pressure each other, but we do with like good things. Yeah, exactly. I like peer pressure. This is kind of cool. I like I like peer pressure. Peer pressure, peer pressure yeah, is probably yeah, my favorite. Peer pressure. Peer pressure is like. Peer pressure is so sick. I don't know. Names are so easy to like. 
Like something that we're like blowing off right now, a lot of people could think is really cool. A lot of it's just reputation. The more you hear it, the better it's like, yeah, people just it's, assume it's good. It's so much about like building the brand too. Yeah. So, Literally so like name any so. brand and it's like, oh, that's perfect. Yeah, because it's like, to, like figure out what fits us and like and then roll with it. Think it's good. Yeah, if you build it out enough. Yeah. I'm gonna fucking Bobo's pumped away. <laughs> Let's just put pizza at the end of our name. <laughs> Peer pressure. Pizza. <laughs> Yo, I think we should go with peer pressure. What was that, bro? I think we should go with peer pressure. <laughs> See you in two weeks. Okay, it's rolling. My name is Alec Peterson, and this is Peer Pressure. <laughs> no! <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I'm a fashion killer. I'm a fashion killer. Yeah. I'm gonna stay by the diving. But the guy need diamonds. That's no use. Peer pressure. 2020. You. We live. Okay, wait, but this camera's kind of sick. Right? That's what I'm saying. Wait, I don't know, bro. Maybe this is the move. This is kind of <laughs> sick. Is the move. I think you could still put the iPhone glyphs in there. It'll look, like, different, but it'll still be cool. Yeah. As long as it's content worth using. Yeah. At the same time, I can still, like, like, if I don't have time to like pull this out or anything or if I'm like away from this I can still use my iPhone to record That's true. Yeah, you I think it records for yeah literally it says 604 minutes left like this might be like the move I don't know <laughs> yeah. bro I'm so excited for this video though for the documentary yeah I got ideas Especially after watching old skate clips too. I'm like, like last night I was like, it's gonna be the skate video I wanted to make when I was 10 years old. I don't know. The time is right. Alright, say peer pressure. That's peer pressure. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
I was thinking I'm gonna do a bunch of one of ones for the rhinestone stuff. Mm -hmm. So I was just gonna do the hoodies, but I have all these blanks and I don't have anything to screen print with here, and I don't have room to bring them all back. So I need to just like make something with with them while I'm here. So I might as well put rhinestones on them since I just got a fresh batch. Oh yeah. I got these two black tees, so I'm gonna do it too in the gray hoodie. Alright, so how I keep them all even? Three fingers, it goes right there. Leave iron on the design for approximately 15 seconds. Put a lot of pressure down, and then I have to put it inside out. And do that same thing from the back. Now I let it cool for five minutes and then peel it off. Even though I know what to do after doing it like once or twice, I still like am constantly checking the directions because mm -hmm. I'm so scared to mess it up. Yeah, so I want to shoot the lookbook like pretty much as soon probably as like Friday or Saturday. I haven't asked anyone yet, but I was hoping Sarah King and Jake Hartsfield for models. Uh, but I want new faces. I want because that'll help me grow. If I get like new people wearing it, more people will see it yeah. and like find out about it. So um, I want to do like a different shoe for each hoodie. Yeah. So I'm thinking Sarah King has like a super cool collage on her wall mm -hmm. of just like all these different like photos and stuff. So I think I might want to do hers in her actual like apartment. Yeah. If she'd be down for that, I think she'd be fine with it. So I want hers to be kind of like Is the season like Jake's. It's gonna be kind of like kind of like grunge-ish like vibes because it's gonna be like all black in the Minion Factory. The Minion Factory. Um, and then Sarah's is gonna be kind of like all cozies in the in her own apartment. In her apartment. Oh, can you can you get up there and I'll get up here and then shoot across? Okay. Yeah. 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 I honestly can't believe we didn't get kicked out either. I think my goal should be at least one a day. Yeah. That way I just got, just got mad collages. Imagine how cool it would look with all of those on the wall. That's true, that would be sick. Dude, I want to do You should, wait, no, you should sell, you should sell them. You should sell them at Insight. You heard it here first. You heard it here first. That was live. I bet. <laughs> oh, that's such a good idea. So just build them up. Just keep going one every day for like the next month. And then you'll have like 30 something pieces. Exactly. Sick. Alright, now say peer pressure. Peer pressure. Perfect. I don't want to Finding Robert Don McGee, episode one. Wait, does he have snap maps on? <laughs> Check your phone. What if Yo, let's go! Should we pull up to Yes! Him? Like, alright, once we get there, how are we gonna ask him where he lives? Like, what room he lives in? Maybe we should wait it out. 
Let's not ask until we get there. And if we can't, if he's literally just sitting in his room, then then, then we'll pop the question. Yeah. Oh my his God. building is right there. All right. It's gonna be a struggle trying to get into the building. Yeah. But it's right here. <laughs> Maple Hall. Wait, I think he told me that. I think he did too, actually. <laughs> We're close. Within striking distance. <laughs> Wait, what floor is it on? I don't know. <laughs> Should we go in there and start asking for Robert McGee? Okay, well, I don't know where we're going. <laughs> we found him! We're at Robert McGee. We need to find someone. Wait, should I be his roommate? <gasps> no, that's probably the only thing. Like... Oh, yeah, that's him. Maybe that's him. Send an SMG. Yeah, are y'all here right now? I'm Eddie, this is Alex. Friends nice to meet you. This is, this is finding Robert McGee episode one and yeah. we, found, we found you. You're bad at this game. He's right there. No, he's not. Yes. I swear to God. You're looking right at I swear to God. Oh he's not. That's why you're laughing. No, he's not. Yes. I'm laughing because you're freaked yes. out. I yeah. promise. Yeah, you look, 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 He's not. You can peek around the corner too. He's gonna squirt me. No, he's. I swear to God, it's. It's funny because you're scared of nothing right now. <laughs> he's. He's not here. Do you really think you just stand right here forever? You probably hear him laugh by now. He has laughed. <laughs> no, he has. Right? He's not. <laughs> He's gonna pop out. No, he's. Oh my god, Robert. You see him back here? He's not here. Oh god. He's, oh god. Me. He's not even in my room anywhere either. I don't know where he is. Like, I've checked everywhere and I don't know where he is. <laughs> I would call him, but his phone is right here. No! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! no. <laughs> <laughs> I locked the door too. You dumb. I heard you locked the door and I was. <laughs> Oh, I gotta get this zip. So what happens when you get like 73 photos off my nose left? It's crazy that I'm shooting, so the frame's this big and I'm shooting on something this big. Yeah, half of it. Okay. Yeah. That they can blow it up that much and the quality's not terrible. Mm -hmm. I don't even know how this is gonna work. Sometimes when it's too far away, they don't work that well, but I'm still gonna use this still. I love this photo. Yeah, it looks better when they're closer. I've noticed. Yeah. There's not as much dynamic range. My friend Juliana hit me up and she was like, 
I'm doing this photo shoot. Do you want to come? And I was like, yeah. And then I brought my camera and she's like, you can take some pictures if you want. I might just leave it as a still. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, it looks warpy. It's the close one. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I should readjust it again, but like I've already like put it to her eye like three times. So I think that's as good as I'm going to get. I'm probably going to post that still of her. In the field, and then this. Like, in the same post? Mm -hmm. But That's probably, cool. probably the still first, because that still is like insane to me. Yeah. I, know, I just like it a lot. And then this dude at the gas station. I just took a picture of him on my name's so. He was walking out with uh, Four Loco. <laughs> and I'm like, yo, can I take a picture of me? He's like, yeah, man. <laughs> and then I did, and he's like, peace. <laughs> and I didn't even... I was talking to Peter after, I was like... I should have asked him for his Instagram, Instagram. Yeah. and Peter was like, no, it's better to never know who he was. And I was like, you're probably right. Um, I found, well, there's definitely people that are more approachable than others. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like this dude, I knew that he was probably going to be okay with it. Yeah. It's a little different if you're asking like adults, I feel. Let's see how this looks. Clean. Dang, that looks cool. Crop it. Yeah. Because you have to crop so much. Yeah. To keep it five by seven and like keep in what you want. That's why now when I shoot on it, I shoot like way wider than I need to. That makes Just sense. Just because when I crop it down, it's hot. And it's not really jittery at all. Yo, I kind of want to post this one first now. Sometimes y'all get me hyped on photos that I'm like eh about. Like I liked it, but I was like. I oh, love that one. Is. His sweater is cool too. <laughs> Pure pressure. Pure pressure. Pure pressure. That's so good. That's so good. No, you never heard this before. Trapaholic. Oh my God, bass guy. You can fuck my bitch, race guy. You swag to the maximum. Swag on a hundred thousand, hundred trillion. Oh goddamn, bass guy. I go buy my car. Then I drop my roof. Well, I want to choose. Give us the beat breakdown, bro. All right, so I started off with these chords. Um, I was trying to like, I was messing around with like, like the minor keys, like black keys, mm -hmm. kind of more like, I guess kind of evil sounding, but also mix the white keys, you know what I'm saying? So it came out like kind of cool, like fast paced, right? After that, I was like, let me get the clap in there. And then I was like kind of rocking, right? Mm -hmm. I was like, all right, now we gotta hit him with the with the hi hats. And then I was on some, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna keep it just stupid simple, and just have like a little like mm -hmm. thing, and then just like repeats. I didn't even do any of the lawsuit changes. It was just normal, and I was like, all right, let me hit him with the 808 now. And then we yeah, had that, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm like. Stay on it, make it hit harder. Yeah. <clears throat> I was like, damn, what kind of goes? And then I was like, I gotta hit him with the perk. Cause like, Peter yeah. always uses the perks. So it sounds like, it adds more balance, you know? So, yeah. You know what I'm and then I was like, alright, I need a, like, a counter melody. And then I had that. I was like, cause I was like, a bunch of all these like Cardi beats, I always use like flutes. Yeah. Like high school drone shit. I was like, so I was going for it. I was like, alright, like uh, the 808 is cool, but like, I used to hit harder, so I had the kick, and I had it stuttering where like the 808 wasn't. So, like, if you listen closely, like right here, it like. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, basically, it's like tapping twice right before the 808 hits, right here too. It'll go back. That's sick. Yeah, and then 
I was like, mm, it's kind of minimum. I'm going to try to do some Bromel shit. And then that's when I hit him with the lasers. And I was like, you know what I'm The laser's so cool. <laughs> like, you kind of snapped, bro. Right, thank you. Wait, no, come back. Wait, no, cover your eyes with it. So, around mid-December, Robert and Saul are coming home again for their winter break. And Eddie and I, we really begin to work on peer pressure. At this point, we knew we were throwing an event, and we knew that at that event, we were going to sell some of our own individual art, uh, as well as a group zine, and we were going to show a documentary. But other than that, we didn't really have anything else planned. Until Eddie had an idea as he was thinking about how to fill the remaining space on a screen that he was using to screen print his next What If Drop. Maybe I can do peer pressure, <sighs> Oh, it would be cool to have a screen of that because we could do it on whatever we wanted uh -huh. and we can make one of one pieces for uh -huh. ourselves. Okay. Yo. <laughs> we had all of these ideas planned and only a few weeks to get them ready. Now it's just time to make it happen. We're really starting a brand. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be like very successful once we put all of uh, everything together. It's, it's gonna be so cool. Uh, Alright, well I need I need conversation about the logo. Well, do you guys not wanna do a font or what do you wanna do? No, I don't know. I just don't like how Courier looks when it's like title size. Like if in my mind, Courier is like such like a body text. You know what I mean? I love Courier as a title. I don't it's... know. I feel like I have to see it on it to really know. See it on what? I'm saying as a logo. This is gonna be on all yeah, kinds of stuff, everything. not just the zine. Yeah. We can still use the other thing for graphics if we want, but like. A graffiti hand style should not work as a logo, if I'm being honest. Yeah. Like Even though it looks like... cool, it's not a logo. Yeah. I'm glad I caught it now. Like, the more I look at it, the more I realize like it's not right. All right. Well, I get no review. No, no, I'm looking. <laughs> should we try to like mess around with, with like the lettering? Because Should we? Like how close the letters are or like even just like how it's laid out, like not just on one line. Yeah. Wait. I just got an idea, actually. No. No. Hmm. Why do these borders have a stroke, bro? I'm about to have a stroke, bro. <laughs> I like that. I'm saving this one. It's aight. Okay, so it works, but like... But as a group. Yeah, but it's deeper than that. It's like... Like, how do we... It's new and fresh and... And... Fast and bright and okay. shiny and these are good words and okay. um, youthful and quick and not sh completely structured. I what? changed it to an outline and like ups the stroke a bunch. Okay. It's kind of cool. But I think it would look cooler if it was curved. Yeah. Like it looks like light when you like look far away, but up close it's like it's still like That's interesting. It looks different when you look at it closer. Yeah. Like this That's is gonna be where all the ink is. This might not even show up. So like it'll still probably look cool. Yeah. Real and light. we'll get some that are like perfect. It looks reflective. That's what it looks like to me. That's why I love it. 
as like yeah, I'm gonna clean. round it all, honestly. Look chewy. Like, I could eat that's this That's what I'm bomb. saying, that's why- I could eat this. This is like a- They like some here. gummy worms. Insane. Yeah, that's- Insane. That's edible. Insane. I can touch it. Okay, guys. Guys. Is it- hmm. Is it really edible right now? How hungry are you when you look at it? I'm eating three dinners. Stinky smelly. That's so cute. I'm gonna do another one without the... the it might nice look there. better just as a font, honestly. Yeah. But I really like how it's shaped. Yeah, peer pressure, 2020. Well... <laughs> well... Alright, lay down the hammer. Tell me it's bad, please. Nah, I like this one more than this, because I feel like... I feel like... Or like, with... The size of it. The size of this, the... but with the without the like missing things on the yeah, inside. Okay. Because agree. because this like would be cool for like a single design, but for a logo, I'm thinking like I, this. Yeah, that's true. I think it'll look better on the thing. Yeah, because far away like this would. It'll probably look cleaner. Yeah. Yeah, I'll mess with it. <gasps> Can I order two pizzas? Um, can I get one large cheese? Fine. Yeah, that would work really good as a back cover, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Those colors work well together. I really like this part. Yeah, yeah same. Actually, that's fine. Yeah. It looks like a brochure cover. It looks good for, like, your, um... Section. Your section. Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah, we need to totally figure out... Fine. There's nothing wrong with doing less. If yeah, anything, I'm it's just better. Afraid you should that, limit yourself to only your best work. I'm afraid that I'm just like throwing photos in there that don't Exactly, even, and that's, yeah. like, that's a good thing. I'm even cohesive, but these two I just noticed. Like, I, I like the way that looks. <laughs> <laughs> it's insane. This is what we on, all 2020. I'll look too, though. That two-page bleed is disgusting. I can't wait to get credit for all these graphics. <laughs> Peer pressure on my t-shirt because I'm cool. <laughs> <laughs>
do it on your own. Yeah. Oh yeah, I want to see the clothes. Oh, okay. Let's go see. This is the drip canoe. The drip canoe. Yeah, most of the stuff is over here. There's, um, here's one of them. Here's the navy one you like a lot. Dude, that one's so, I love this. And then there's like three more. Or, yeah, three more over there. Crew necks. The oh, the purple necks. dress shirt, so cool. We oh cropped it. We cropped really? it. Really? Yeah. <laughs> and then we got this one and that. But yeah. This is the vintage one that's like kind of a blind. You can't really see it too well, but they all, oh, all yeah. the crew necks turned out really nice. This one's nice. Oh, Dang, and he was thinking. Dude. Yeah, these are so cool. <laughs> I know. He turned out mine. I'm going to wear these to the event. That's sick. But yeah, that these one turned, that out, one turned good. out fun. Yeah. yeah, and he was like, we'll print on these since they're normal like and experiment on this one and see how it turns out. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. The blazer turned out sick too. Yeah, it did turn out really good. Dang, dude, we have so much. There's almost one in here too. Look, it's a bunch. Dang. And we, these, I love, oh, I think it's so fun, like, that people want to be a part of this. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, like the littlest amount we reach out to people, they're like, oh, this is sick. Like, I'm so glad, like, you're having this. I don't know. And like, a lot of people still don't fully understand. Know until what it is see it. until they see it, yeah. But, like, they can get enough of an idea to where they're like, <laughs> this is I like it. Mm -hmm. Like, it's mysterious, but it's, it's shown, like, the We're curtains not hot are all mess, the bro. way pulled. <laughs> But it's enough to get everyone interested. Mm -hmm. I'm nervous. Are you nervous? I'm nervous. I wasn't nervous, now I'm nervous. Uh, it's a good nervous though. I don't think I'll be, I think once we get into it, I'll be. Yeah. Dude, we have so much to show. It's actually crazy. Yeah, I don't know how we did this in less than a month. No, literally. Like, I was watching footage today, like, and it was... in less than a month. It was, like, literally, like, two or three weeks. It wasn't yeah. even a month. It feels like this time has flown by, kind of, right? Yeah, my break has seemed shorter than six weeks. Yeah, but we're doing something good with it. So. Yeah. I mean, we could be bored. We're definitely not bored. Yeah. And it's going to help us in the long run. Exactly. And if we want to work on working for ourselves as a group yeah this is the first step yeah bro that would be a dream for real peer pressure headquarters <laughs> of this yesterday. <laughs> tell them how long you slept. When, again, no sleep, so uh, I can't tell if it's the worst or the best thing I've ever made, so <laughs> enjoy. I love you. Eddie, Alec, and Saul, let's get in front. <laughs> <laughs>